ready. And uh, the tutorial will, uh, will be make, uh, will be finished next week. Uh, and you can interact see our store at the bar. And uh, you can select three different uh, brands collection here. And uh, your picture are ready. And uh, the player two can choose the character. And uh, ready. if you didn't <coughs> choose your arena level, then you can. Uh, this uh, uh, second level map, uh, just with uh, our artist, test artist finished the test, we will put the new second level map in here. And uh, I'll show you some like uh, special sound effects. Uh, for example, uh, because when you special scale active, the uh, effects will be active. Right. Here's an easy panel to show when you correct a, create a server and you can see it shows got the information of the servers and uh, it also shows on the client uh, machine. Last week my major uh, objective is to make our game more stable and robust uh, which is fix one bug after another and uh, make gameplay tweaks. I just, I just did one task after another, one page after one page. So our game is getting more and more mature. We add an uh, aiming rate in the game, as you can see right here, which can help the player to aim better. Uh, we finished this second level of our game uh, this week. Um, as you can see, we uh, the small island here uh, is textured by another artist of the team and uh, my job is mainly focused on the main island here and uh, we just want to give player kind of uh, alien very alien sort of um, feeling level as you can see, we got some ruined crystal here and there. And the um, final result is pretty good. It's just so cool to make a game of our own. And considering possibly in future, uh, possibly this would be the last time we make a game of our own. So we just did uh, everything, everything it takes to make our game perfect. Yeah. This is choosing the seed. After you choose the seed, you can start the game. And this is the interface about our game. You can see that. Um, these are the energy. When you eat common stars, the energy will be more and more, and you can grow bigger or um, plant some minus. And this is time. And from this one, you can always bring one star with you and this place will tell you which kind of star you bring. And this part, you can always know who is the winner now at present. And this is the plant. And this one is the mechanical style. And the color is different too, but all the functions are the same. We got something like functional atoms. And now it's kind of simple. You just drop something and then you can knock it out. Like knock it out. Oh. 
想一想。I try to not be that. And the knocking is based on the force, not on atom. If you're going fast, just it's not that. Okay. Not dying yet. Kill it. Our main all the atom works. And for now, this function is kind of easy. Maybe next week we have we will have all the function atoms like spread maybe seed and uh, defending your land or something. I've optimized a lot of how painting works, which areas get painted and which don't. Mm -hmm. added, added some more level of detail to the widgets. So, um, when you're far away, it just fades out. And the frame rate's got a lot better now. It's normally over 100 frames per second, they can never go below 30, which is probably one thing. Uh, I've been spending most of the week just going back over the code that I've made and optimizing it to run as best as I can. I've been changing the camera and a few of the small little features in the game just to try and make them run a bit better and work a bit smoother. Um, it's been going alright, so it has, and not really had too many problems this week, but just keeping at it and hoping for the best. Won't run into too many problems over the last couple of weeks we have. This week I've been working on custom cursors, quarantine meshes, and we working on the bombing. So I'm just going to show you a bit about the quarantine meshes. Go on textured at the moment. We just we take quarantine, we just come up from the ground. So it doesn't look impressive at the moment because they're on textured, but it will do. And you can have a bit of fun with that. That's the only really thing I can show you really. The bombing isn't really finished yet, it's not really a show but it's dead, but work has been done on it. That's it for me this week. Thank you. Over the past week or so I've been rebuilding our AI. I uh, encountered a few problems with it last week. Uh, but I've got it working properly now, so people are responding as you would expect to roadblocks. And you know they're building up a list of roadblocks so they won't just automatically follow the correct path. They'll try a few different ways before they give up and stuff like that. Um, I'll just show you what I mean here. So if I place a roadblock here, you'll see these white guys just responding to it and trying to find a different way to their same location and eventually they'll give up or they'll start protesting outside the police station or the city hall. Um, I've also been working on a few assets for our trailer which we have to build for next week so we're just trying to bulk out the city for a few nice shots during our animation so we've just been throwing together some more buildings to help out Chris. It's mostly actually except for the windows. I'm going to leave that till well actually I'm going to do that today where you can see all the other buildings and the reflections. You see what pedestrian crossings in use is still because there's no cars but it looks nice so that's fine. Um, as you can see, it's not shot cell shaded, it's in the render, but because it's a cell shaded game, we want the trailer to look cell shaded as well. So, Peter was showing us some cool ways how to do that between Premiere and Photoshop. So, <laughs> here's one of the Take that, blue Peter. This is the render you can see here, and um, with a different texture, ink and paint, where there is no detail except for the outline. What in Photoshop, you can drag it over and voila, sun shading. And for the final texture of the movie, we just do it in bulk in Premiere. So it's very fanciful. <laughs>